In this tutorial, we are going to extract frames and create a time lapse using the software FFMPEG. In this particular use case, we are also going to use FFMPEG to merge multiple video clips into one. If you do not need to do this, then you can skip that part. Go to ffmpg.org and you click the big green button to download it. And then you can hover over here and then you can go to Windows Builds and you click that link. And here you only need the essentials here. All right, so click on this and you can extract to a subdirectory. Now, this program does not need to be installed to be used in full functionality. So we can simply, if I control an X to cut this folder, and then I can put it on the desktop and control V. So now the folder is situated in the desktop. If we enter it, we see three subdirectories as well as license and readme files here. If you go into bin and here we see ffmpeg.exe. And if you right click on that, go to properties, click the security tab, we can see the object name here. If we right click here and select all, we can either control C or right click again and copy. Okay, let's close this window. We can go back to the root of this folder. And in here, we can actually create a new text document for this particular, which can be called workflow.txt. And then we open it in your default text editor. And here we can simply paste what we copied from the securities tab here. The next step is to maneuver in File Explorer to our actual video files. And when you are in the directory of the video clips that you want to manipulate, in this case, as previously stated, the first thing is going to be to merge these five files into one. What we want to make sure is that these five files that we intend to merge using FFMPG are referenced in a text file. So we can right click here and take a new text document file and this can be called file list.txt. If we open this, we have five files so we can have five rows here. And then if I hold down control here in Sublime, I can make sure that all five of these are active. And then I can type file and now it's actually the file name. So we can go line per line here. So I'll just click once to select it, click once again to highlight the object's file name uh, and then make sure to control A to select all of the text, not only that uh, precedes uh, the file type separator. And then I can copy with control C and perfect. Very good, we can save this. And now we are prepared to actually execute the merge command within FFMPG. So if you hold down the Windows key and press R, you open the run interface here and we can type here CMD and press enter to open a command prompt. And now the first thing that we want to do is to make sure that this directory where the files are situated is our current directory in the command prompt. As you see here, the default directory in the non-elevated mode for a command prompt is the user directory, but we want to make sure that it's this directory where the actual files reside. So what we can do is to click the address field here and control C when everything is selected and then make sure to copy it into the workflow.txt file that we previously made here. There, that is our directory because now we can simply add CD for change directory to this. And the first thing we want to do since the directory that we want to uh, redirect ourselves to is situated on another drive than the C drive, then the first thing we should do is simply enter W the drive letter of the drive of the directory w colon and enter and now you see that we are now in the w drive uh, this is of course depending on where your files are situated on which drive and now we can copy this change directory and the full directory copy control c and control v here and we see now that our current directory is our intended directory and now, since we currently are in the correct directory where our files are residing, we can reference the ffmpg executable file and input the commands that we want to merge these five files into one. I'm going to copy here the command to do this, but I will highlight what will of course depend on your username and the directory where you put the file. But this is the same if you see here. This directory that we copied previously from the securities tab of the file properties is the same as the one we reference for the command. And here we see a discrepancy. Having done this previously, it was called files to combine.txt, but this is actually called file list.txt. File list.txt, very good. 
And the last thing here is the name of the file to be merged from these five individual video clips. And this can be named what you would like. All right, we can copy it and go to the command prompt and paste it with control V. And then we press enter to execute. One thing to take note of here is the last piece of information here. It's called speed. And it's, you say here that's a factor of about 8.9. And this one is in relation to the actual playback time of the video files you reference. We can see that it's a total of uh, approximately one and a half hours of footage here. We take approximately 90 minutes divided by nine. So it should be done in about 10 minutes. When you see the current directory again in the command prompt, this means that the process is finished. And you'll see here in File Explorer that we have a merge.mp4 file. 